hello welcome back to my channel uh, before i will discuss my topic for this vlog please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also please like and share this video okay my topic for this vlog is all about equations transformable into quadratic equations so as a review the standard form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So, tatandaan yun ha, kailangan yun yung i-memorize, ang standard form ng quadratic equation. So, I have here an example. Transform each of the following equations into a quadratic equation in standard form. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is, Ita transform nyo lang yung given na equation to quadratic equation in standard form. So, I have here an example. Example number 1. 1 over 7 minus 6 over x is equal to 9x. So, first is we are going to find the LCD. Hahanapin muna natin yung LCD. LCD means least common denominator. Ang denominator sa given na equation is 7 and x. Since 7 is a number and x is a variable, so ang gagawin lang natin is i-combine lang natin silang dalawa. So ang LCD is 7x. Next, ang 7x is i-multiply natin siya both sides. So, i-multiply natin siya sa left side, i-multiply din natin siya sa right side. So, dito muna tayo sa left side. 7x times the quantity of 1 over 7 minus 6 over x is equal to 9x times the quantity of 7x. So, we will first compute the left side. So, first is focus muna tayo sa 1 over 7. So, 7x times 1 over 7. So, 7x divided by 7 is x na lang kasi makakancel yung 7. Then, multiply x to the numerator 1. So, x times 1 is x. That's why yung first dyan is x. Next is copy the operation minus then proceed tayo sa 6 over x. So, 7x times 6 over x. So, divide lang natin. 7x divided by x is 7 na lang. Kasi, makakancel yung x. Then, 7, i-multiply mo siya sa numerator na 6. So, 7 times 6 is 42. That's why, x minus 42 is equal to 9 times 7 is 63. Then, x times x is x squared. So, x minus 42 is equal to 63 x, x squared. So, next is we will uh, make it or we will arrange it in standard form. Di bang standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, ang gagawin natin is transpose natin yung positive 63 x squared sa a left side. So, since itatranspose natin siya sa left side, so, from positive, magiging negative yung sign niya. So, negative 63 x squared, then copy lang yung x kasi hindi naman siya transpose. Same lang siya, nasa left side pa rin. So, plus x, same with uh, 42 minus 42 is equal to 0. So, yan na yung um, final answer. In example number 2, the quantity of s plus 6 squared is equal to 9. The quantity of s plus 6 squared is same as the quantity of s plus 6 times the quantity of s plus 6. Pero para hindi na humaba yung uh, solution nyo, uh, ito na lang shortcut. So, focus mo na tayo ha sa the quantity of s plus 6 squared. So, first is, ang first nyo yung gagawin para makuha nyo itong s squared, you will uh, square the first term. Focus tayo dito ha sa s plus 6 
squared. So, i-square mo yung first term which is s. So, s times s is s squared. Then next, para sa second term, i-multiply mo yung exponent na 2 sa s at saka sa 6. So, 2 times s is 2s. Then, 2s times positive 6 is positive 12s. That's why positive 12s yung uh, middle term. Then, the last term, uh, you will square the second term, which is ang x. So, 6 squared is 6 times 6 is equal to positive 36 is equal to 9. Next, we will transpose. I-transpose natin ang positive 9 sa left side. So, copy lang s squared plus 12s plus 36. Then, pang positive 9 nagiging negative 9. So, combine like terms. s squared, copy lang s squared plus 12s. Then, since 36 and 9 is like term, so, positive 36 minus 9 is equal to positive 27. So, therefore, our final answer is s squared plus 12s plus 27 is equal to 0. The next, example number 3, the quantity of x minus 2 squared the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of x plus 3 squared is equal to 25. So, focus muna tayo dito sa the quantity of x minus 2 squared. So, kita ko lang sa inyo ha. So, dito. Focus muna tayo sa the quantity of x minus 2 squared. So, same sa ginawa natin sa example number 2. We will square the first term which is x. So, x times x is x squared. The next, i-multiply natin yung exponent na 2 sa first term na x at sa second term na negative 2. So, 2 times x is 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Since yung sign niya is negative, so ang operation is minus. So, minus 4x. Then, the last is we will square the second term which is negative 2 so negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4 that's why x squared minus 4x plus 4 then copy the operation plus then dito naman tayo sa the quantity of x plus 3 squared focus naman tayo dito so same process rin uh, we will square the first term which is x so x times x is x squared then I multiply natin yung exponent na 2 sa first term na x at sa, last, at sa second term na 3. So, 2 times x is 2x times positive 3 is equal to positive 6x. Since positive yung sign, it means yung operation is plus. So, plus 6x. Then, last is we will square the uh, second term which is 3. So, 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3 is equal to 9. That's why x squared plus x, uh, sorry, 6x plus 9 is equal to 25. The next is, uh, kunin lang natin yung parenthesis niya. Then, itatranspose natin yung positive 25 sa left side. So, x squared minus 4x plus 4, copy lang ha, plus x squared plus 6x plus 9, then transpose uh, positive 25 sa left side, magiging negative 25 is equal to 0. Then, after that, you combine like terms. So, ang ginawa ko is, yung same na color is, yung, yun yung uh, like terms. Like terms siya pag, uh, same yung variable at same yung exponent. Okay? Then, if wala siyang variable at wala siyang exponent, same siya na constant lang, like terms pa din siya. So, unahin natin muna yung uh, x squared. So, x squared plus x squared is equal to I wait. By the way, may 2 yan ha? Hindi ko nalagyan ng 2. So, 2x squared. x squared plus x squared is equal to 2x squared. Kasi, y nagiging 2. Y, bakit merong 2? Kasi, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then, copy lang the variable x squared. 
Then next is, proceed tayo dito sa blue. Negative 4x plus 6x is equal to positive 2xy. Negative 4 plus 6, since uh, hindi sila pareho ng sign, sa so minus mo siya, then copy the sign of the greater value. 6 minus 4 is 2. Then 6 is greater than 4, and the sign of 6 is positive. So, kopyahin mo yung sign na positive. Since positive, since positive yung sign, ibig sabihin yung operation din is plus. So, plus 2, then copy the variable x. Next, proceed tayo sa constant, itong uh, naka-violet. Positive 4 plus 9 is equal to 13, di ba? Then, positive 13 minus 25 is equal to negative 12. Why negative 12? Kasi, uh, hindi sila pareho ng sign, di ba? Positive 13 minus 25, so minus siya. Then, copy the sign of the greater value. Then, 25 is greater than 13. And the sign of neg uh, the sign of 25 is negative. So, kukupiyahin mo yung uh, sign na negative. Yeah. Since negative yung sign, so, ibig sabihin yung operation is minus. So, the final answer is 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 is equal to 0. Then, example x times the quantity of x minus 4 is equal to 60. So, we will use the distributive property. So, ang gagawin natin is, i-distribute natin yung x sa x at saka sa negative 4. So, magiging x times x is x squared, di ba? Then, x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Since negative, the, the operation is minus. So, x squared minus 4x is equal to 60. So, next, we will transpose positive 60 to the left side. So, from positive, magiging negative siya. So, copy lang x squared minus 4x. Then, minus 60 is equal to 0. So, yan lang. If you have questions regarding uh, on how to transform equations into quadratic equation in standard form, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Bye!